So, good morning everyone. Welcome to the seventh edition of Bucovice Blind Football Cup. In the past six editions, we could see teams from 15 countries and we could see on this pitch 308 goals. 36 of them made by Jeffinho. So, uh, let's hope we all together can make at least yeah, his amount of goals in this year. I would love to welcome a man without whom none of us would be standing over here and who has been a great support for all of us since we started with blind football in the Czech Republic 11 years ago. It's the director of the support center for the students with special needs at the Masaryk University, Dr. Peter Peñas. Welcome. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for offering me this floor. And I have to say that I'm the last person who should be taught, been, is offered this option to speak at this opportunity. First, I am an old and tired person. I should be retired. And I do not play football. <laughs> I wonder if I ever did. <laughs> and uh, if uh, somebody had asked me, let's say, half a century ago, about my future perspectives, uh, I, I guess uh, I would have answered at that time that I had no idea and that there were just a few points. I will hold no public speeches, definitely, <laughs> and uh, I will have nothing to do with any sport activity. Uh, then later on I checked. I started changing my idea since I was already surrounded by my blind colleagues and blind students and I did realize how practical and useful tool it might be. And then to the surprise of many, if not for all, I started organizing uh, sport, special sport activities uh, for the blind at Masaryk University. Within that framework later, I could observe our Brazilian colleagues who uh, demonstrated or introduced uh, the principles and rule of blind football uh, to my colleagues who got enthusiastic, so did I. And in a few years to, I would say the historical paradox is completed, that the football, which seemed to be totally out of my horizon, turned out to be um, um, the, the most su successful activity uh, of uh, Theresia Center, if not the only one. Uh, and I'm very glad to meet you again. I'm, I'm using this opportunity uh, to express my uh, gratefulness to and thanks to all who organized that, starting with the Jitka Gratzlikova, her brother. <laughs> Lukas Masinko and his team, then IT technicians and all those who contributed be with the braille printing and uh, I don't know, uh, 3D printing, all those who made it possible for us to meet and to start uh, the seventh edition of, the, of this tournament. Well, that's all. Uh, uh, I. I guess it's a good idea to continue the tradition of multilingual greetings. Meine Damen und Herren, liebe Freunde aus Deutschland und Österreich, viel Glück. Mesdames et Messieurs, chers amis Belgique, bonne chance. Dámy a pánové, drazí přátelé, kolegové z Brna, Zdravím vás a hodně štěstí. Chtěl jsem na poradu s Filus Masa po Apotine Lada, u Dany Parku, Kali Tichy. Then, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends from Albion, good luck and good luck to all. Thank you.
morning to current English champions. West Bromwich team is very welcome here for the first time ever, even though most of the players have been here already. I have really uh, good memories with Mark and Simon from the first edition. Also lots of ones with the legendary Darren Harris. And it's awesome to see the youngest player of the tournament, Isa, here and the best world goalkeeper, Dylan Malpas. Welcome the team West Bromwich from Albion. Guten Morgen, Deutsche Vizemeister. Für mich jedoch immer Meister. Kein einziger Jahrgang ohne euch. Ich weiß nicht, ob es einen nächsten, zehnten oder zwanzigsten Jahrgang geben wird, aber ich bin mir sicher, dass unsere beiden Teams nie fehlen werden. Ich wünsche euch herzlich, dass ihr es dieses Jahr bis in den Brunnen schafft. Welcome the team from St. Pauli! Ils nous font le plaisir d'être présents depuis 4 ans maintenant. Nous apprécions les rumeurs, les rumeurs et le sens de l'amitié. Même quand ils nous racontent des histoires belges, bien sûr, comme euh, lorsqu'ils ont remporté le tournoi en 2017. Certains disent que la bière est meilleure que chez eux que chez nous, peu importe le fait elle-même. Bienvenue aux joies du plat pays, le Five Side Underlay. Welcome! I'm really lucky that the plane from Greece had uh, a delay, so you don't have to listen to my beautiful uh, Greek language. <coughs> so I will uh, continue with the uh, German again. Uh, Greece got unsere super Kameraden aus der Central Europäischen Liga. Nochmals vielen Dank, dass ihr uns letztes Jahr zur Medaillenposition geholfen habt. Uh, ihr seid für mich ein Vorbild sowie für die anderen Teams, was für imposante Ergebnisse auch Frauen in diesem schönen Sport erreichen können. Ich drücke euch die Daumen. Ich hoffe, dass ihr es hier echt genießt. Welcome the team from Vienna! A dobré ráno tak tež těm, kvůli kterým celou tuhle srandu děláme. Díky moc každému jednomu z vás. Dejme do toho znovu úplně všechno a už teď se těším na nedělní oslavu. Welcome the hosting team from Avoy Emu Brno! I would also love to welcome those who make the atmosphere here very special for already a few years on the pitch and off the pitch as well. Welcome the best European referees, François Akakouet from Tertre in France. Uh, welcome the legendary Stuart Winton from Great Britain. Uh, welcome Christian Jung from Germany who didn't miss the, uh, the only edition he was here uh, all seven years. Welcome. And the youngest one, Michael Peek from Belgium. Welcome. We believe it should be a part of every blind football tournament and we find audio description very important. This year the ageless Maurizio Valgolio from Germany will be accompanied by Bradley Goldenhoe from Great Britain. Uh, so if you want to listen to the audio description just reach the guys, uh, you can borrow the headsets like every year. Uh, yes, that's it. Uh, if you have... If you have any injuries, uh, hangovers, you are sunburned or whatsoever, on my left, uh, again, the first aid, Stanya and Romcha and Nitka as a physio. Just reach them whatever problems you reach. They are here for you. Uh, one more thing. <laughs> I guess all of you know, but just in case, in the school there is a swimming pool. Everybody is welcome here from uh, today from 1 to 9, you can use it, and t uh, tomorrow from 1 to 6. So you are free to go if you wish to swim. Uh, last thing before the opening kick, um, for those who don't have enough of football here and want to watch the finals of the Champions League, uh, we uh, arranged in the restaurant Sole, a kind of shooting with the description. So you are free to go. At, it starts at nine. Have fun. And now I will ask 
Uh, Dylan Malpas is the best uh, world goalie uh, to go in that goal. And also, uh, we started to, uh, to train the youngsters about a year ago. And the outcome of that is our little big hope, Shimon Reitar, which is now 14 years old. So we will give him the chance to open this tournament with his opening kick.